would, I would like to introduce. What's up YouTube, Deathstrike here, bringing you guys another Warframe guide on how to achieve a maximum damage build for your Supra. Now before I begin, I would like to do a shout out to the entire for helping me make this video and providing the gameplay footage. If you want to check out his channel, it will be in the description below as he regularly puts out high quality Warframe videos. So for newer players out there, the Supra is basically a machine gun, like the Gorgon. However, in still bullets, it fires out laser projectiles. Now these projectiles will have a flight speed before they hit the intended target, unlike the Gorgon. The Supra can be unlocked by the energy labs in the clan dojo and requires mastery rank 7. The Supra is defined by many Warframe players as an end game weapon due to its high cost to create and the requirement to form it multiple times to achieve its maximum potential. However, these costs will reap in outstanding rewards as the Supra's advantages include its top tier DPS when fully charged, its high magazine size allowing to mow down multiple enemies, and the ridiculously high puncture damage which will allow you to obliterate grenade units and also the fact that it does 10 extra damage per round than the Gorgon and has a faster wind up time makes the Supra an incredible weapon. However, there are some pretty hefty disadvantages of the Supra, which includes ridiculously high reload speed at 4.2 seconds, and as mentioned before, requiring rank 7 and a huge supply of resources to create. The inaccuracy of the weapon makes it very bad for long range combat. Additionally, it has no polarity slots, meaning that you will need to form with this weapon multiple times if you want to get most of the required mods on. However, these disadvantages are balanced by Supra's incredible late game damage and its ability to mount high level bosses in a matter of seconds. Now as for the build, I would recommend using a highly ranked serration and heavy caliber to achieve maximum damage, shred for increasing punch through and attack speed, combined with a speed trigger to give a Supra a plus 80% fire rate. For the corpus, use the mods Stormbringer and Side Rounds for the magnetic combo, doing plus 75% bonus damage against most corpus units. As for the Grenier, I will recommend using the Radiation combo, dealing bonus damage against Heavy Grenier in addition to using the mods Hellfire and Stormbringer. You can also add Wildfire and the event mod Malakin Force which adds bonus fire and poison damage, and additionally granting greater magazine capacity and bonus status chance. Lastly, for the Infested, simply replace Stormbringer with Infected Clip and you can either swap out Wildfire for Bane Infested or keep it. The choice is yours. Again, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, comment on what you'd like to see next and subscribe for more awesome content on everything to do with Warframe. Till next time, peace.